Walking down the street with Junkie Ride in the latest gear. From soul to your soul, come join us here. Hyundai, Kia, Genesis, we test the trends. With Junkie Ride, the thrill never ends. Hello, welcome to Yunki Ride. Today, I'm going to review this 2025 Kia Sportage. This Kia Sportage is a facelift model, so it is a minor change, not a fully changed model. However, this car has changed a lot, like the fully changed. The, the biggest change is the design. The front end grabs your attention. Kia's signature Stamet lighting design is front and center with vertical daytime running light and with the interior, Kia didn't just overhaul for the sake of it. And about the inside, the interior has not been changed a lot. So this is the interior of 2025 new Kia Sportage. Well, this is quite pretty similar with the previous version. The gear change level remains the same locations and everything is similar, but it comes with different steering wheel design like others, Kia's new car. It is hard to find a big difference in the interior. And this is the biggest change. Kia didn't just stop at looks. They have also stepped up the sportage performance. The 1.6 liter turbo gasoline model now features an 8-speed automatic transmission for the smoother shift. So basically, the price has been gained like $2,100. However, they replaced the transmission and for the hybrid car, they replaced the motor. That's the one big difference. And right now, I'm in the white interior Sportage. So this car gives very different feeling from the black edition's interior. As you can see here, this part is ventilated seat for the cooling. Look at this. Over here, the back of headrest, you can hang out the t-shirt or the shirt over here. And the headrest shape, it looks like bulbous one, which is good for safety. It has a walking switch like this. Control the passenger seat right over here. And personally, I like this door catch handle. It's simple, not fully changed. And let's talk about the material. This is leather and this part is also leather. However, this is hard plastic and this is leather. This part from the HUD, this is hard plastic and this is soft leather. This is kind of cool because they use lots of leather. For the price issue, they have used some of the plastic on the door trim or over here or even over here. However, it is okay. This is not a luxurious car. This is eco-friendly Kia's Sportage. You're not supposed to complain about this material on this Sportage. And the fact is that overall quality of interior is great in each class. And as you can see, it is a downhill speed controlling system, 360 degree camera. This car also equipped with the new UI from the Kia. So this car finally supports the YouTube and other streaming service while car in the park. Game mode over here and it has an entertainment mode too. And over here the cluster. This is regular Kia's cluster. Every Kia nowadays use same design and same UI, which is not that bad. This is just great. And let's talk about the back seat area. Since this car comes with the four-wheel drive model, the drive shaft goes underneath here. However, the height of drive shaft is okay. And over here, oh, here is a little detail that I like. Here is a zipper so you can hide your items over here. It looks like aftermarket one, however, this is from the OEM. Here, tight charger, holder for your bag, and also storage. And here, storage with the zipper. And I really like this part. You can hang your shirt or 
outwear over here. This is pretty cool feature I ever seen in the Kia's model. And this is the overall interior of the Kia. It's similar with the Kia EV6 electric car because like the Kia did it on the exterior, they are trying to use the family look design and they are trying to do the same way into the interior so that the interior design is almost similar with the other models. And I'm in the second row seat and the height of this car is pretty much. It is very, this car has enough space to be a family car. As you can see, my leg room are plenty. I can use the heated seat, two type C charger. And let's check the cup holder. There's two cup holder over here. And this Kia Sportage, it comes with the hybrid version so with this space with the better mpg which means this is a perfect car to use as family car to sum up what i have said today the new kia sportage might not seem as a dramatically big difference but it's actually undergone some significant change. Mechanically, the biggest update is the transmission, which has shifted from the DCT to a torque converter automatic. This makes a huge difference in terms of the ride comfort and driving feeling. Honestly, I don't know why they didn't make this upgrade sooner. The front design has also changed a slightly sharper more angular look which i personally like better as for the price it's gone up by about two thousand dollar but considering the transmission upgrade i'd say it's a reasonable increase i think that's it for today thanks for watching so for next video i'm gonna bring the test driving review of this kia new sportage